Hi, Kat Livingston from Ascend Nutrition and Wellness. I am gonna make a simple caprese salad. Now I'll make this up and I can keep it in my refrigerator for a whole week. Uh, very basic tomato, mozzarella, basil, Kalamata olives if you like them. You can use whole pieces of garlic if you like them. I use minced garlic, my good old Costco garlic. And I, sorry about the angle, you're gonna, I'm gonna pop in and out because I couldn't include everything and I want you to see how I cut the basil into ribbons. Normally I use larger mozzarella balls, but they were out of them at the store, so I got the pearls. I got three packages of those. We're gonna add some red onion, um, our extra virgin olive oil, and some really delicious um, balsamic vinegar. So let's get started here. I already dumped my cherry tomatoes and one of the packages of the pearls in there. My hands are all nice and clean, just did all that. This hardly has any juice in it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and dump it in there. And I'm just gonna split it up. I've got a little paper towel here for my fingers because it'll be wet. I prefer the little ball, the other balls because they come in water and I can just cut a slit on the top of the plastic and drain that very easily. There's our last one. Everybody seems to love the mozzarella, so I usually do a little bit more mozzarella than just the than than the tomatoes. I used to make it really even, um, but it doesn't matter. And everybody just loves the mozzarella so much, and that after a day or so, that balsamic will soak into them, and oh my god, they're just delicious. And as I said, I make this ahead of time. I keep it in the refrigerator to serve as like a side. Um, when I'm having soups or something else that needs to be rounded out. In a lot of my videos, I talk about how important it is to have healthy fat, and I am very liberal with my garlic. And this can be something that you can keep in the refrigerator and use to add to a meal, like as a side salad, to give you that rounded out so you get that heart healthy fat to stay satisfied, okay? Now I'm gonna just gonna cut a little bit of red onion. Um, I'm not gonna cut all of it, but I'm gonna use a chunk of it. A lot of times I'll cut the onion and I'll preserve, I'll just decide to cut the whole thing and I'll cut it up and just put it in the freezer because it freezes beautifully. But this is red onion and I will also be using this. I make a spinach salad at home a lot, like I'll just, come home, whip that together, just takes a couple minutes. And so I'll use that. So I'm gonna just pop off this outer layer. There we go, just use. I probably wasted a little bit, but that's okay. Doesn't have to be perfect. Doesn't ever have to be perfect. Okay, and then I'm just gonna do it like this. And I, I do it pretty small. I want it pretty minced. Again, that uh, balsamic is gonna soak inside and be just yummy. This is not how I normally slice my onions. I usually do it more of this side, but I couldn't quite do that if I didn't want to cut the whole onion. I probably just cut down a half though. That's true. Doesn't matter. We're just gonna mince it. Keep the knife tip down and just raise. If you don't know how to cut, I didn't learn until, gosh, I don't think I really learned until I was like in college and going through nutrition. Yeah, this isn't working the way that I want it to. No problem. We're just gonna rough mince it. I love my Cutco knives because they don't make me cry when I cut onions because they're so stinking sharp. All right. This might actually be a more onion that, well, nah, it'll be fine. Doesn't have to be perfect. Doo, doo, doo. So we're in 2020 now. When I don't know when you're watching this, but we're just in January, a few days into 2020. So happy new year. Yay. Um, if some chef is watching this, they're probably going, oh my God, she's just like brutalizing the dang onion. <laughs> All right. I'm 
You don't have to use as much red onion. Personally, I love red onion. And the, like I said, like that balsamic will really soak in it and it's yummy. All right, I'm just gonna push that right into my bowl. I love this little cutting board because I can just stick it right in the dishwasher and sanitize it. All right, now here's the main thing I wanted to show how to cut your basil to get like some ribbons. I had made a caprese salad video before, but I watched it again and it was terrible. Like I parked the camera down and it wasn't even taping what I was <laughs> trying to tape. It was focused on something else. You could hear my voice. I was like, oh my gosh, this is a terrible video. So I gotta make one where you can actually see what the heck I'm doing. All right, so what I did is I stacked a whole bunch of different leaves together and I kind of put them all together. Then you can stick it in here and I can roll it. Looks like a big fat cigar. And then I'm just gonna slice and make my ribbons. If I was making, one of the things I like to do is I'll take a multi-grain English muffin, put mozzarella cheese on it and put it under the broiler and then put a slice of tomato and then whole leaves of balsamic on top of that. Yum, so good. Now, if you have flowering little parts, you don't really want that, they're a bit more bitter. You really want the leaves. So I've got some nice, big, beautiful leaves. That I can just grab off of here. I'm gonna put in, yeah, about that much more. Do we got some really large leaves? I'll do it one more time. Roll, roll, roll. All right, there we go. That looks beautiful. Here are the kids playing in the other room. Now, oh, I know what I forgot, salt and pepper. I am gonna be very liberal with my olive oil. When I will take this out of the fridge, you know, that's congealed a little bit. So I just put it in a little bowl and let it come to room temperature. Um, and then it's just super delicious. Now, this is such good balsamic. I'm actually getting towards the end of this bottle. I'm just gonna use the rest of it. Why the heck not? There we go. And salt and pepper, hold on. I'm not gonna use my pink Himalayan on that one, or my Himalayan. I'm just gonna use sea salt. I could do two different ways of mixing this. I can use a spoon, which is what I'm going to do. I could also just put the lid on and then kind of toss it. Oh, that smells so good. Olive oil and balsamic. Oh, the basil. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. My kid eats it, which is good. Oh my gosh, that smells amazing. I think what I'm gonna start doing for the recipe, guys, is I'm gonna put a picture of the food, the finished recipe, as the picture of the icon or whatever for the thumbnail. There we go. See all that getting in there? Oh my God, that looks so delicious. Yum. Oop, one's falling out. Got it. Oh, mm. oh my God, that's so good. All right, there we go. Easy breezy caprese, caprese salad. <clears throat> that went down the wrong pipe. <coughs> Sorry about that. So I hope you found this informational and helpful. This is a new channel. Please help me grow. If not, that's okay. Love and light to you. Let your light shine today. Bye-bye.